there's so many things fall into these. Now you've got to hear giving versus receiving. And I find that interesting because yeah, if we're looking at giving versus receiving on a sliding scale, at the one end, we have somebody who just gives, 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 gives like Jack the freaking giver. Why? Because everyone does things for selfish motivations. And if I give and I feel great, then I'll give a lot. Those are really effective hand gestures. But if all, you know that. Hey, there we go. Now, the if all I ever do yeah, is give, give though. Yeah. The other end of the ske yeah. spectrum, we have take, take, take. Now here's right. the point. People who just want from others, take, take, like Jack the Bastard. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a new one. Jack the Bastard, there's I like that. So if you get in the middle of the spectrum, mm -hmm. are we saying? There's that, a balance, Is right? it a balance or you're not doing either? I think it's a balance because every action on its own is evaluated and has some merit. You're either allowing someone to give something to you or you're allowing yourself, uh, sorry, <laughs> you're either Switching you're either giving to someone yeah. else or, or you're allowing someone to give to, to you, you. And receiving it richly. And I suppose the other, and we talked about, you know, the, the selfishness of someone who steals. It's the same thing. If, if you're constantly stealing from others, never right. giving, you're a bad person. So and, on the, on the yeah. sliding spectrum, where do you steal? <laughs> how much? How much do you steal? Sometimes I steal, me? steal an extra, <laughs> steal an extra bite of food. You know, when yeah. there's like a, a, an extra, a pizza an extra or whatever, five an extra bucks slice of pizza. Yeah, there yeah. You go. An extra but, five bucks. But yeah. it, it actually makes sense That'll to think about mortgage. if all you ever do is give. Yeah. Then you're kind of not allowing other people the pleasure of giving to you. You're right. always the giver, never the receiver, and. Other people feel good by giving. So if you're the one always Christmas morning giving, 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 yeah. and you never get anything, you're denying other people to have that feel good. I gave a gift to this person or I gave quality. If we think of love languages, for example, giving quality time, acts of service, whatever it is. Or oh, I thought you said gonorrhea, right. the gift that keeps on <laughs> giving. It, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've heard. Um, I've heard. So giving versus receiving, I think it's useful to think about it. Which one are you weighted more towards in life? Are you giving more? Or are you receiving more? Or do you have the what you a, think is the perfect a reasonable balance? balance? And there's yeah. no correct answer here. That's well, the, the, the best it. answer. It's a Bredo question. How's all oh, working how's out, that working out? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So now, yeah, it's always the test of a model is its mm -hmm. usefulness, John Grinder. And so we determine is the model we are applying working for us? Yeah, and hopefully by being aware right. of this that you can think of as a continuum, you can look at it and go, Do I need to? Give more? Do I need to receive more? Yeah. Or am I perfectly happy? 